So recently, Modern Warfare has an issue with cheaters on the PC platform. It has become very predominant. It is getting out of hand and I see cheaters every single day. I play Modern Warfare, not only in Battle Royale, but in multiplayer. Currently, it is ridiculously detrimental to the health of the game, and at this point, Infinity Ward has claimed that they have banned more than 50,000 cheaters, but it is still not enough. I've ran into cheaters while I'm streaming, I've ran into cheaters while recording games, I ran into cheaters while playing the game casually, and a lot of my friends have also seen cheaters on a nearly daily basis. Here's an example of one cheater I ran into while playing on my live stream just the other week. What? He's shooting through barrels! What? I. that's another- like, what? This guy is fairly obvious. You can clearly tell that he has wall hacks. You can clearly tell that he's snapping onto people. This is a pretty cut and dry kind of scenario where you know this guy's cheating without a doubt. I'm also going to roll a clip of an obvious aimbotter on Shipment who was getting nothing but headshots and killing people through the map and immediately as we were spawning. It is ridiculous. This guy is insane. I mean, this guy is using a full-on aimbot. He's not even trying to hide it. He's killing people through walls. He's getting all of his headshot challenges done. He's going for that Damascus grind. This guy's MLG, Call of Duty Pro. He had his 11 servings of G Fuel this morning. I mean, this guy is a god at Call of Duty. While these guys are very easy to spot and they are very cut and dry cases, there are also people who have low key cheats that are very hard to spot if you do not have a good eye for it or if you don't review the kill cams properly. In today's video, I'm going to talk about systems that should be put in place for people who have blatant aimbots, but I'm also going to talk about cheats that are more low key and harder to spot and I'm going to give you guys tips to spot out these cheaters so you have more of an idea if you should just leave the game and report the player versus actually playing the game. Now before we get into the video, don't forget to support the channel by liking the video and subscribing if you guys haven't already for more Call of Duty commentaries as well as Call of Duty news. In a lot of my commentaries, I like to do in-depth breakdowns and talk about a lot of things on the back end of the community that you may not know about. Hopping straight into the main topic, we're going to start off with who is more likely to get placed in games with cheaters. In multiplayer, right now, there's a skill-based matchmaking bracket system. If you're a good player, you're going to get placed against good players. If you're a bad player or a mediocre player you're going to be placed with bad or mediocre players it's just how it works that's how the sbmm system works this is the part where you have to be truthful with yourself if you believe yourself to be a mediocre player or an in the middle player you're probably not going to run into a bunch of hackers if you are a above average player and you are somebody that is on the high end of the sbmm bracket it is much easier to run into all these cheaters because they are performing overwhelmingly well in their games therefore it is much more likely if you are a higher ranked player to be placed with hackers is just how the SBMM system works. As of right now, there are several rumors that Warzone also has a skill-based matchmaking system. So once again, in Warzone, if you are a better player, you're probably going to run into more cheaters than the average Joe. So now we have a double-edged sword with skill-based matchmaking. Not only are skilled players running into better players and sweatier lobbies, but now we have to deal with the slack of all of the hackers that are working their way up the SBMM ladder. Not to go too far off, that was just to clear up some of the air with you guys. If some of you are not running into players in the game and you guys have like a 1.2 KD, a 1.3 KD, it's probably because the cheaters are in the higher brackets of SBMM. Of course, at any bracket you can run into a cheater, but ultimately a lot of the cheaters are going to work their way up that skill based matchmaking bracket far faster than any normal player would. So now we're going to talk about how to spot these cheaters. Obviously, we have the blatant aimbots in the game where people are just spraying across the map and killing people virtually immediately. Here's my comment on that. We're going to brush over that because obviously that's super easy. You know they're cheating. Report them, go into recent players tab in the game and report them after the game as well. But my big gripe is that there seems to be no auto flagging system. If people are mowing people across the map, or getting 20 kills within five seconds, there's clearly something wrong and they need to be banned immediately. I don't understand why the game doesn't have an auto flagging system. In a lot of games, the second people turn on cheats, you get auto banned. In Modern Warfare, that doesn't seem to be the case right now. There is a lot of people with blatant aimbots shooting you through walls that do not get banned on the spot. Hopefully a system like that gets implemented into the game, but ultimately, of course, the easiest way to not run into cheaters is to just turn off crossplay if you're on console. Now let's go into the more low-key hacks. These are going to be the people who use aimbot, but they have well-tuned aimbot 
aimbots and almost undetectable aimbots. And the only way to really spot these aimbots out is to have a good eye and be aware of what these players are doing. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is confirm that they're a PC player. Right now, you can't do that in the game and I'm hoping that changes very soon. But as of right now, the easiest way to tell is just by looking at their movements. If it looks like you can't do it with a controller, it's probably on a mouse and keyboard. Now, if you believe you're playing against someone who has cheats but is trying to hide it, the most common cheat you will run into is a low FOV aimbot. FOV means field of view, and basically what this aimbot does is that it snaps you onto targets depending on how far away you are from the target. This is nothing like console aim assist. Console aim assist slows you down over targets and makes it easier for you to aim and maneuver while aiming around the area of an enemy or on an enemy. What a low FOV aimbot does is it snaps you onto a target very fast assuming you are within the range that the FOV aimbot has been tuned for. And that's where things get not only scummy but way more confusing is when people are already decent at video games they may opt for a less obvious lock on or even have a hotkey bound to their mouse that turns the aimbot on and off to confuse the lobby even further. Here's an example of a player that is using an aimbot that might be less obvious to people who aren't well versed or haven't played against many cheaters before being a lot of the console players. This is why it's important to watch every single kill cam if you suspect that a player is cheating. If you guys play hardcore, prayers to you guys. I don't even know how you guys are going to deal with it. There are no kill cams in hardcore, so if you play core, this is how you're going to be able to spot this out. In this first kill cam here, you're going to notice that he has a weird snap to me right after he kills the first player. But for a console player, this might just be rummaged off as just a lucky aim assist kind of situation. This next clip here is a little more obvious, but for PC players, it is common and it happens. There are crazy flicks that do happen and there are lucky headshots. But now we're going to move on to a much more obvious clip where you're going to clearly tell that this guy is cheating. No doubt about it. He's sprinting forward. He already knows I'm in the building. And as soon as I pop out of the window, his aimbot goes absolutely crazy. It shows itself. He flicks to the left, flicks to the left again, and mows me down instantaneously. That's a cheater. Confirmed. You're hacking. Get out of here. I've got proof. The example I'm setting here is that sometimes it can be a little more confusing when spotting cheaters. This guy's got an aimbot. Nothing is crazy as I've seen, but in certain cases, aimbots do go crazy and they automatically lock you on to people out of nowhere, and that's how most cheaters get caught. It's really unfortunate that now hackers will be able to have more of a free reign because people on console may not A, have an idea how to report the player, or B, have a clue that they're even cheating because they aren't well versed or they haven't seen many hacks up to this point. As somebody who's hit Legendary Eagle Master and has over 1500 hours in Counter-Strike as well as a variety of other PC games including Apex Legends and Battlefield, especially during 2014 and 2015 when CSGO was becoming much, much more popular and had a huge spike in cheaters and then once again had a huge spike in cheaters when the game became free to play. While Valve's anti-cheat or VAC is far from the best anti-cheat that I've ever seen in a game, they've also included other instruments into the game to get cheaters banned, including a program called Overwatch where you're going to watch videos of other players playing games in order to judge if they are cheating or not in order to combat people with less obvious hacks. In comparison to what Counter-Strike has, Call of Duty has nothing in that area. Call of Duty has no easy report option, it has no feedback system to let you know if you've gotten a cheater banned from the game because they don't follow up on any of the tickets to the player, and we don't even know anything about the anti-cheat system itself. Obviously, it's within best interest to keep the specifics of the anti-cheat proprietary, you don't want anyone cheating or finding their way around the anti-cheat program, but we also should know as a community if there's any auto flagging, if there's any type of systems that are in place to ban people immediately who are obvious. We need to know this stuff. Right now, all we have is a number of people who have been banned from the game. That is not enough. It's 2020, PC games have had cheaters in them since the beginning of time. All of the mainstream PC AAA games have some sort of anti-cheat in them that work to some extent, and they will ban most obvious hackers and auto-flag those hackers. With Warzone being free to play and how easy it is to just keep making accounts because it's free to play, this is going to become a more prevalent problem in the future if nothing is done about it. 
Hopefully in the coming weeks, we'll have some information from Infinity Ward or Activision, but as of right now, cheaters seem to be running rampant throughout Warzone and multiplayer. Anyways guys, hopefully this video helped you out and will help you in the future if you run into any cheaters. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you guys haven't already, and let me know down in the comments below if you guys have ran into any cheaters into Modern Warfare, and if you learned anything new from this video if you're a console-only player. With that being said, this has been Nick, and I'll see all of you guys later.